hello friends welcome to my youtube channel sql server log so today we are going to download and install postgresql so basically postgresql is available for download as ready to use packages or installers for various platforms like windows linux mac os solaris bsd etc and download link for postgresql is given here you can download it from www.postgresql.org slash download. This installer includes PostgreSQL Server, PG Admin, which is a graphical tool for managing and developing your databases, uh, which is basically a GUI for PostgreSQL, and Stack Builder, which is a package manager that can be used to download and install additional PostgreSQL tools and drivers. It includes management, integration, migration, replication, GS special connectors and other tools. So we will visit to this link and download the installer. So when you uh, visit this postgresql.org forward slash download, you will get this page. On this page, you can see 14th September 2023 postgresql 16 release, which is latest version of postgresql and uh, different packages and installers are available here uh, like linux mac os windows psd and solaris so we will go for windows installer now on the next page when you click on windows you will get this page windows installers interactive installer by enterprise db and when you scroll down platform support is given postgresql version 10 to 16 so we will click on download the installer certified by edb for all supported postgresql versions click on download the installer now you will be diverted to enterprise db.com to download postgresql here we can see postgresql version linux platform 64 bit and 32 bit mac os windows 64 bit and 32 bit installers are available and you can scroll down different version of postgresql are available 16 15.4 14.9 like that all the versions are available here so what we will do we will go for latest version of windows 64 bit you can click on it now it will divert you to this page and it will ask you to save the setup file okay so you can click on save as or you can download it I have already downloaded it so I will go for setup this setup file I have downloaded now you can see the size of this setup file is 391 MB okay so what I will do I will double click on it to install to start the installer It is preparing to install it will prompt you do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device yes So now the setup window has come for PostgreSQL. Welcome to the PostgreSQL setup wizard. So you have next and cancel. Now click on next. It will give you installation directory. Uh, by default this path is C drive program files PostgreSQL 16. If you want you can change this path to your required path okay I'm keeping as it is for default for installation purpose click on next now it will ask to select components to install so here PostgreSQL server PG admin 4 stack builder and command line tools so all are ticked okay so basically uh, in this installation we will see PostgreSQL server and PG admin 4 stack builder we will see in later stages and command line tools so I will just click on next 
now data directory it is asking so by default this path is given you if you want you can change it by clicking here I will just show you this path default path is given here click on next now it is asking to set up password so you can give your password okay for super user so I'll just give my password now after entering password click next now set up this port is given this is default port for PostgreSQL okay where uh, this please select the port number the server should listen on so this is by default given 5432 default port click on next advanced option select local to be used by the new database cluster so we'll keep default local only but but I will just click on it to show you what are the options available here okay so we'll keep default local click next now pre-installation summary is given here so you can see installation directory server installation directory data directory database port database super user and other informations are given here click on next ready to install click next so it will take some time The installation is going on more than 50% installation is done installation is going smoothly it is almost complete
creating an installer so completing the postgresql setup wizard now setup has finished installing postgresql on your computer launch the stack builder at next at exit so it is asking to install stack builder so currently we are not going to install it we will see later in some other video just click on finish now this installation is completed now I will show you by connecting it now search pg admin for now pg admin management tools for postgresql has come waiting for pg admin 4 to start Okay, so now we have this uh, PG Admin 4 Object Explorer. I will just click on Servers. Now it is asking PostgreSQL, you can see 16 is there and it is asking to connect to the server. Please enter the password for the user PostgreSQL. So basically uh, you have to enter the same password which we have given at the time of installation. I will just write my password and I will save it click on OK now my PostgreSQL server is connected now you can see PG admin for GUI tool I'll just click on it database this is Postgres is given here which is installed by default you can see schemas other details are available here this is by default notable is available so in a later video I will show you how to create database and tables in PostgreSQL thank you for watching this video